SOAP UI Test Structure SOAP UI structures functional tests into three levels test suites, test cases and test steps. Now first of all, a test suite is a collection of test cases that can be used for grouping functional tests into logical units. Any number of test suites can be created inside a SOAP UI project to support massive testing scenarios. Then second, a test case is a collection of test steps that are assembled to test some specific aspect of your service or services. You can add any number of test cases to a containing test suite and even modularize them to call each other for complex testing scenarios. Test steps are the building blocks of functional tests in SOAP UI. They are added to a test case and use control the flow of execution and validate the functionality of the services to be tested. So let's take a look at these in a little bit more detail. Test suites, as mentioned before, are created at the project level for grouping test cases in logical units. For example, if you have a banking system to test, you might have one test suite for account related test cases and another test suite for test cases related to payments. Your project can contain any number of test suites and you can see and execute them all, either in sequence or parallel, from the Project Test Suites tab. Create new test suites either from the Project pop-up menu, New Test Suite, or with the corresponding button on top of the list of the test suite shown right here. A test suite can in turn contain any number of test cases, which can be executed either in sequence or parallel from the test suite window. Creating test cases is performed in the same manner as creating test suites, either from the containing test suite pop-up menu, New Test Case, or with the corresponding button on top of the test case list. A test case contains an arbitrary number of test steps which are configured to validate the functionality of your target service or services. For example, a test case in the test suite for payments mentioned before might validate a certain type of payment by first performing it and then checking the contents of the database for the updated data. Opening a test case reveals a similar view to the latter containing a list of contained test steps together with the related actions. Next up, we'll take a look at test execution. When a test case is executed, the contained test steps are run in the displayed order, branching or looping as configured via dedicated test steps or scripts. All the previous views have a toolbar at the top with the buttons executing contained test items, as you can see in the first sample. In the case of test suites and test cases, these can be executed either in sequence or parallel as configured with the corresponding toolbar buttons, as you can see in this sample. The execution order of test steps in a test case is always in the order they are displayed. Branching or looping can be achieved with dedicated test steps or scripts. The progress bar immediately under the toolbar shows current execution status and is colored either red or green depending on the test outcome. Since the exact number of execution steps cannot be known in advance due to scripting possibilities and so forth, the progress bar might not always show a number or value that is in line with the number of steps or items executed. Next, we'll take a look at test output. All previous views also contain an execution log at the bottom that shows ongoing information on executed test steps and their status. Items in this list can be double-clicked to show more details on the actual execution. For example, if we double-click the entry for the test request logout, as we can see in the seven-step example, test step above, last in the log, we will get the following window showing the actual messages sent and received together with the related properties and assertion results. All right, and as you can see, Depending on the type of test step, different information is shown. Also, if the underlying data has been discarded from memory, for example because of the discard OK results, setting in the test case options dialog, it will not be available for viewing, 
Read more on the intrinsics of test case execution if you want to go deeper into the terminology. Let's take a look at reporting. SOAP UI Pro also adds a Create Report button to the top toolbar, allowing you to export the results of the current execution to a nicely formatted document. For example, if we create the default test suite report for the above test suite execution, we get the following PDF. Now, as you can see in the example, it's a very neatly formatted PDF that can be executed and easily readable.